In the block dash map, when you are trying to pass the level from the corner of the block, there you can use hug emote to do it easily. Okay, first let's pass from the side of the block normally. Okay, here I passed this block because I did it correctly. Let's try again. Here the block touched me, so there is a high chance that it will push me in laser when I will go from side. Now let's try this using hug emote. Now here I will try passing the block using hug emote. Hmm. Here I easily pass the block using hug, and I think if I did this normally, then I will be eliminated by the laser. Also I think I have covered this in my tips and tricks video, hence this myth is confirmed. In the super water slide, at the fourth boost, there is a volcano at the left side, but you can't go there using volleyball emote now because it's fixed. Okay, first let's go to the fourth boost. Here I am at the fourth boost. Now let's try to go on the left volcano using volleyball emote. As you can see, it took some tries, but I climbed on this volcano using volleyball emote. Hence, this myth is busted. In Super Water Slide Map, there is a Stumble Guys banner, and you cannot cross it and go to the another slide using volleyball emote now. Okay, here is the Stumble Guys banner. Now let's try to go to that slide using volleyball emote at the boost. As you can see, it took some time, but it's possible to come on another slide and the banner is just invisible and it doesn't stops you. Hence, this myth is busted. In the Mr. Beast Warehouse map, where the trampoline and spinning platforms are located, at the right side, there is an invisible platform near the chocolates. Okay, first let's go at that location where the trampoline and spinning platforms are located. Okay, here are the spinning platforms and the trampoline. Now let's go at the right side. Here are all the candies. Now let's find if there is any invisible platform here. Okay, I think I found that platform. So here is that invisible platform. Hence, this myth is confirmed. In Tile Fall Map, by using Shield Emote, you can cover three tiles easily if the third tile is green, but if the third tile is red, then you will fall. Okay, let's try this. Here the third tile was red, that's why I fell down. Let's try this again. 
Here also the third tile was red, so I fell down. Here the third tile was green, so I didn't fall here. That means we can easily cover three tiles if the third tile is green, no matter what color the first and second tiles are. But if the third tile is red, then there are much chances that you will fall. Hence, this myth is confirmed. In Tornado Temple Map, if you check all the skeleton skins, they don't have any movement. But if you go at the last checkpoint, there is a skeleton that shakes his body like a real player. Okay, first let's check our first skeleton. As you can see, this skeleton is not doing any movement. Now let's check our second skeleton. Okay, here is the second skeleton and it's also not doing any movement. Now let's go to the next skeleton. Here is our next skeleton. Now let's jump down there to see that skeleton clearly. We will stand on the invisible platform to see the skeleton clearly. If you don't know about this invisible platform, I have already covered this in my previous myth video. Hmm, this skeleton is shaking his body like a real player. Hence, this myth is confirmed. In the paint splash map, go to the two roller and use volleyball emote and jump in the paint and when you touch the paint, double jump and you will escape from there. Okay, first let's go to the two rollers. Here are the two rollers. Now I have to use volleyball and go in the paint and double jump there. Let's try this myth again and see if something happens. Here I got a total of three jumps, that means when I touch the paint, I didn't get eliminated. That simply means if we go in the paint after using volleyball and after touching paint, if we jump at right time, we will not get eliminated. Hence, this myth is confirmed. In the Race for Eternia map, at the end, if you use shield emote at the first punching hand, it will throw you up. But at the last punching hand, if you use shield emote, then it will bounce you higher than the first punching hand. Okay, first let's go at the end. Here I am at the end now. Let's see how up the first punching hand throws me. Okay, now let's try at the last punching hand. Hmm, this jump was higher as compared to the first punching hand. Hence, this myth is confirmed. In the Tornado Temple map, if you use invisible emote, then it will remain for a long time as compared to other maps. Okay, let's compare this Okay, it's almost five seconds. Now let's try this in another map. Let's see how much seconds it lasts in Block Dash. Okay, in Block Dash, it also lasts five seconds. In the Bucket Mayhem map, 
If you jump on pink jelly type structure, from there you can go up to the bucket where all the zombies spawn, and if the zombies are bot, then you can just move round on the corners of the bucket top, and zombies will not be able to catch you. Okay, here is that pink jelly type structure. And using this, I came up here. Now I just have to move on the corners of this bucket. And yes, from here, none of the bots are able to touch me. But this can only happen if you are playing with bots. Hence, this myth is confirmed. 